गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रन टूडे वी शैल लर्न मोर अबाउट कॉन्ग्रुएंस ऑफ ट्राइंगल नाउ वी नो द टू क्राइटीरिया फॉर कॉन्ग्रुएंसी ऑफ ट्राइंगल फर्स्ट इज एस 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 रूल दैट इज साइड 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 वेन द थ्री साइड्स ऑफ अ ट्राइंगल आर इक्वल टू द करस्पॉन्डिंग थ्री साइड्स ऑफ अनदर ट्राइंगल देन दीज टू एंगल्स आर कॉन्ग्रुएंट हेयर इन द टू ट्राइंगल्स ट्राइंगल पी क्यू आर and triangle abc p matches with c q matches with a and r matches with c so the line segment pq is congruent to the line segment ac line segment qr is congruent to line segment ab and line segment rp is congruent to the line segment bc and we say triangle pqr and triangle abc are congruent the second criterion of congruency is sas rule that is side angle side if the two sides and the angle included between them of a triangle are equal to the two corresponding sides and the included angle in the other triangle then the two triangles are congruent here in these two triangles pqr and abc the line segment pq is congruent to line segment ac and the line segment qr is congruent to line segment ab and the angle between pq and qr is equal to the angle between ab and ac that is 65 degree angle q is congruent to angle a thus triangle pqr and triangle abc are congruent triangles according to the side angle side criterion you may wonder what if two angles and the included sides are equal in the given two triangles then what here we have three triangles and in these three triangles the two angles are equal and the side included by the two angles is also equal look the angles marked by blue arc are equal and the angles marked by red arc are equal also the marked sides are equal in the three triangles they are looking different right but if we just rotate triangle 2 and triangle 3 look all the three triangles are identical that is they are congruent so if the two angles and the common arm of the two angles are equal to the two corresponding angles and the side of another triangle then the triangles are congruent two angles and the included side that is the side which is the common arm of the two angles so angle side angle asa rule so this is the third criterion of congruency angle side angle now how to draw a triangle with the measurements of two angles and the length of one side is given first we draw a rough sketch of the triangle we want to draw so one side given is 6 cm and the two angles are 60 degree and 65 degree say 6 cm would be the base of the triangle and here angle a is 60 degree and angle b is 65 degrees now we draw line segments of the given length that is 6 cm with the ruler as we have decided to make 6 cm side the base of a triangle we draw a line segment which is longer than 6 cm take a compass with a sharp pencil attached to it measure 6 cm line segment with the compass put the needle of the compass on one end of 6 cm line segment and open it until the pencil tip reaches the other end of the line segment now put the needle on one end of the ray cut off 6 cm line segment
say the ray was AO and we make a cut on the point B. So AB is 6 cm. Now look at the rough sketch. Angle A is 60 degree and angle B is 65 degrees. First let us draw 65 degrees at B. Put the protractor on AB such that AB coincides with the baseline of the scale on the protractor. Point B should be at the middle mark of that baseline in the protractor. We make a point at 65 degrees thus we draw 65 degree ray at point B and angle B is 65 degrees. We can draw 60 degrees without protractor. Take any measurement in compass and draw an arc with point A as the center. Now don't lose that measurement. Put the needle at the point where the arc intersected AB. Draw a small arc which intersects previous arc. Now we get a point where the two arc intersects each other. If we join A with that point and extend it, the triangle would be complete. So we get the triangle ABC. So this is how we draw a triangle ABC where angle A is 60 degree, angle B is 65 degree and the line segment AB is 6 centimeters. And if we again draw another triangle with the two given angles and the included side, we will see the two triangles are congruent. So if the two angles and the common arm of the two angles are equal to the two corresponding angles and the side of the another triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. Two angles and a side which is common arm of the two angles. So the name angle side angle ASA rule and this is the angle side angle that is ASA theorem of congruence of triangle. When two angles and the included side of one triangle are respectively equal to the two angles and the included side of another triangle the triangles are congruent. So that was all about congruency of triangles. Bye bye children.